Spade, we're back from where Nancy drew Tomb of the Lost Queen. Uh, we need to head back into our tomb here. And talk to people. Hi. Hi. Who are the daughters of Nefertari? What are you talking about? You're one of them, aren't you? There's no such thing. That symbol on your bag. It's how the group identified itself. Watch yourself, Nancy. Why don't you just tell me? I'm going to figure it out anyway. Shh. You are lucky you are dealing with me and not my mother. Okay. Why? Because only the daughters of Nefertari can know our mission and live. But your mother was a member? Every firstborn daughter leading back to the 19th dynasty has been a servant of Ramses II. First you say you're here for the Anunnaki. Now you want me to believe this? I could not care less what you believe. I only care that you stay out of my way. Why? What are you going to do? When we find her, I'm going to see that she's returned to Ramsey's side, to her rightful throne. You have two choices now. You'll be one of us, or you will force my hand to do something I don't want to do. What are you implying? All I want, Nancy, is to return her to where she belongs. Okay, so that's interesting. A complete flip from before being all about the aliens. Now she's actually the daughter of... What Atari? is this strange symbol on your bag? What are you talking about? It's all over. I've seen it on the walls. It's nothing. Ooh, I bet it's more than nothing. You're here because of Abdullah, aren't you? In part. I don't like him. Why? Because he's on the take. And he stages. Stages? He dumps things he has into a site to make it more exciting. That's a big accusation. It's the truth. Where did that mummy you found come from? I still haven't found out. It came from him. Wait a second. I never told you about that. I heard about it. People talk. I have more proof than I need. I need to know right now why you're here. I have the authority to have you removed unless you tell me immediately. You do not. You want to try me? Fine, Nancy. I'm here to see that Nefertari is returned to where she belongs. Why? Because it is my destiny to do this. Or to die trying. There is very old magic at work here. And I do not care what you believe. It is true. Ramses II. He knew the temples would be plundered by men like Abdullah. He knew the land would suffer tyrants, that she would be at risk. He had to know that his greatest love would survive all of this. He had a hidden and called upon our bloodline. Every daughter in my family must seek Nefertari, and only when the time is right will we be able to find her. Then what? Then she's returned to her rightful place, and we are relieved of our duty. When I was young, my mother died. I was told she'd been in an automobile accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When I came of age, a letter came. My mother wrote it before I was born. She knew the search for Nefertari would probably kill her, that she was bound by fate, as am I. One day, I will have a daughter, and she will never receive such a letter. The search ends with me, not Abdullah. Do you really believe all of that? Yes. But why the fake aliens? Abdullah told the press he thinks alien followers are stupid. Stupid people are no threat to him. So you hid in plain sight? Exactly. Here, take this. Very this is smart. from Lily, isn't it? Yes. She is very smart. Wow, she went from a nut job alien believer to being extremely deceptive. Huh. I kind of like her already. Or again, or in a different way. <laughs> Wow. Alright, let's go find out what's in Lily's chest. And I mean her locked chest. Oh, wait a minute. Where's our friend? It's not here anymore. Lily! Oh, Lily's not here. So here is the Curses of the World. I think I rev... I had this book open uh, several videos ago. That's the Swedish one there, I believe. Yep. It's the same as the rhinestone I found. 
What was she doing out in that part of the tunnels? So these it's numbers time. should help. Let's see if I can open it now. It is time for us to do this. Uh, oh, numbers. Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a cool, cool puzzle. So that's six there. Two. Now, where would three go? No. Can't go that way. Oh, I can go this way, though. Two, three, four, five, six. That's eight. Well, something's messed up in here. I think maybe the six goes here. Maybe the two goes there. Um, or that two goes there. Two goes there. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. Three. Six. Four. Three. Come on, Lily, what do you got in here? What's cool and interesting? Slithering snakes, reptile emporium. Dear Bianca, I made it. I'm finally and officially on my very first Egyptian dig. After all those years we spent slaving away in the archaeological department, to no avail, I might add, who would have thought that one small deal would get me where I was destined to be? I can't believe I didn't think of it before. So simple, really, and it didn't cost me a thing. Well, nothing that anyone will ever find out about. At least you need to try the same and get on your dream dig in Greece. Then we'll only be a sea apart. Two coolest, most renowned archaeologists in the world together, almost again. I know you were worried about my doing this, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Miss you lots. All right. What? Why would Lily have this? Wondrous snakes of the world. Egyptian cobra. What is Lily up to? Fallen from the barely legible scrap of papyrus. Rebirth precedes happiness. The three truths follow the light of free atum. Water flows at the end. Happiness before the Riatu. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah, I thought she didn't like snakes. Okay, so I think we're done here. Something going on outside. We better take shelter in the tomb. This storm is intense. Oh boy. It's a sandstorm! Run, Nancy, run! Whew. Alrighty then, so... Let's go to the tomb. Hey, Jimbo's gone. If I combine what Lily said with John's notes, I should be able to figure this out. Mm -hmm. Rebirth precedes happiness. The three truths from the light of the Reatum. Water flows at the end. Happiness before Reatum. So... Snake, falcon, eye. Those are the three truths of water. Oh. Or not. Some people believe the complex knowledge required to build the wonders of ancient Egypt is proof that aliens existed and visited Earth. If I were an ancient Egyptian, I'd be pretty offended right now. Okay, so I failed. Wow. 
That's hurtful. So maybe this is the three truths then. This is the water. Nepertari! It's gotta be! And just what do you think you are doing? Lily? Lily? Is that you? What are you doing? Were you following me? Yeah, what were you doing? This whole thing with the curse! It was you! No, it wasn't! Dylan is in the hospital because of you! It wasn't supposed to happen! I just wanted him to leave! Why? I can't say! I I'm not going to say! What do you mean you can't say? Is someone helping you? Even if I wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could do! Lily, look out! Ah! Uh-oh. Now we're in trouble. Lily, are you okay? I'm fine! Lily! I'm fine! Okay... So... Now what do we do? Still can't get in here yet. I think I turned around. Yep, sure did. Go all the way to the end. Cut to... No, oh, I wanted to go... this way. To see Jamila. Oh, Katum. She this way, isn't she? Yep, there she is. Nancy, what's the matter? What happened? It's Lily. She's been caught in a cave in. We need to get her help. This is no accident. Abdullah did this, didn't he? I don't know. I need to go get her help. But I don't want to leave her here with him. Let me help her. If Abdullah comes back, I'm ready for him. Take this signal box, go above, and call for help. I'll take care of Lily. Okay, I think we'll take this other stuff too. A key? Is there a second exit? Yes. Half the key to the Order's hidden exit. They arrive on six feet of soaring wings with a howl or a bleat. The ancient reptile leading the way. Underneath a blazing sun, the jackal joins the mix of beasts that stand as one betwixt the sky and the underworld. Dressed in red, she is joined by the child. As the evening dew appears in the cat's footprints, they learn of knowledge. Drawn onward by a steadfast cow, a throne accompanied by hieroglyphs, it arrives before the balance of the mother. I can't just leave Lily! And you can't help her by staying. Go! Call for help! If you see Abdullah, run. All right, we're running from Abdullah now, apparently. Uh. Lily, I'm fine. All right, so that's not the way we're gonna go. You have to go to the cat too. Uh. To remember how to get there now. Let's see if I remember well enough. I'm not sure if it was this way or this way. Nope. Hang on a second. I got turned around again. Why am I not able to go that way? Oh wow. I'm stuck. There'd better be another way out. That can't be good. Our entrance is busted. So what do we have for options? Where is our friend Abdul anyways? Enough with the cat toys here. 
So why do I keep missing it? Where the hell's that door? Holy crap! I know I just ran past the freaking gate three times. Where the hell am I supposed to find that gate again? Um. Did it to me again. Here it is. Got your gate. Stuck! Oh, there must be a way I can make it to that door! Uh oh. So now what am I supposed to do? I need to find the correct head. <sighs> the correct head. Okay. Oh wow, I gotta do that with the floor. This is kinda crazy, folks. Okay, that one matches. Next. So it's a lady's head. Well, I wouldn't really say a lady, but you know what I mean. That looks pretty good. Where do I have to go? That looks pretty good right there, no? Whoa! I'd better not make any mistakes. Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> so... That one? There we go. It's pretty darn close. Oh no, Nancy, what the hell are we doing here? Why do you look so frightened? The curse! It was you! Good! For once I do not have to explain myself to you. Unless, of course, you can't figure out what happens now. You won't get away with this! No, no! I will get away! You will not! You should consider yourself lucky! You will have a beautiful tomb for all eternity! You'll have to catch me first. Alright, so let's have a look here what we need to do. Actually, if we look at our tasks here. The stones come up from the floor when the colors match. More oh. platforms. If I can create a path to the other side fast enough, I'll be able to escape. Okay, let's do it. You will not get away! I better so, not make any mistakes. No red. White's pretty lame. So we can make blue here. Oh boy, he's hopping across, is he? That's kind of clever that it shows that. Oh, what the hell? Oh, shoot. He's wasted a bunch of moves right there. I didn't realize you can go both ways. Um, we're getting real close. Run, Nancy, run! Leaving so soon? Yes. It's John! Oh, that's that. Now come on, Nancy. I'm dying to see Nefertari. Dear Hannah, the police eventually arrived and arrested Abdullah. John suspects when his case goes to trial, we'll be learning a lot more about Abdullah's crimes against archaeology. If you ask me, ancient and modern Egypt will be much better without him. Lily was rescued from the tomb unharmed. She was initially taken into custody, but was released once Abdullah claimed full responsibility for everything that went wrong at the dig. 
I guess he really did believe she deserved a second chance. From what I hear, Lily is currently studying paleontology. I imagine she'll be happier in a career that doesn't involve daily contact with mummies. Dylan has nearly recovered and will soon be resuming his tours of ancient Egypt. Hopefully he's had enough of the black market. Maybe I'll check in on one of his tours to see how he's doing. Jamila was wary when John returned to the site, but the two of them soon hit it off. John has promised to have Nefertari return to her rightful place beside Ramses II, and Jamila has been brought on to assist with the entire process. Jamila dropped her alien act and soon proved herself to be a skilled Egyptologist. I wouldn't be surprised if she and John end up working together for some time to come. Professor Hotchkiss has decided to revise her book to include our discovery of Nefertari's true tomb. I'm looking forward to reading it, just as much as I'm looking forward to her taking me off speed dial. As for me, I'm happy to have had an adventure and delighted to be headed home. There's nothing like the end of a mystery when all of the pieces fit together and everything is... And I just remembered I forgot to let the cobra go. Well, I'd better go take care of that. Guess I'll be getting home a little later than anticipated. Here's hoping that releasing an angry cobra isn't as much of a bad idea as it sounds. Love, Nancy. And that is the end of the game. Tomb of the Lost Queen. Oh, I'm going to miss Egypt. I really am a big fan of Egypt, and it's going to be sad for me to say goodbye. But that does mean that we're ready to play the next Nancy Drew game. So that's always good news, too. Now, I'm always terrible at this trivia, so I'm not even going to really pretend that I know the answer to this. Um, so I'm sure some of you are like, oh, this is so easy. But I have no idea. So there you go. All right, so here are my check marks. I missed more this time than I did in the last game, but that's okay. Uh, acknowledged, acknowledging a crested flyer. Oh yeah, that was the question that uh, Hotchkiss asked me, and I got that wrong. I don't know what this one is. Player extraordinaire antiquity style. Helping out an old friend. Not sure. And spending time with insects. I don't know. But I did get a good chunk of them, so I'm pretty happy about that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and watch the credits, and there'll be a teaser for the next Nancy Drew game, so we're going to watch that as well. So you probably won't hear me talk. I'm going to let it all roll all by itself. And for now, it's goodbye, and we'll see you next time. Have you heard the story of the two mummies of the sea? In the 1800s, a sea captain came into possession of two juvenile mummies, children. He knew he'd be able to sell them for a huge profit at port. The first night at sea, he had a dream. Two children, a boy and a girl with gray, lifeless eyes, stood in his room, watching him. Finally, the girl said, Storm. That next night, a terrible storm descended on the boat. Two men were lost at sea. That night they came to him in a dream again. They stood even closer to his bed. The girl seemed very pleased with herself. 
This time the boy spoke. Plague, he said. The next day, the men on the boat shook with fever so severe that they could not raise the sails. That night, they came again. They stood a breath away from the captain, gray eyes flashing with rage. Now you, they said. The captain woke in a cold sweat and ordered the mummies to be dropped into the deep. The ship made it to port, but the captain walked away from the docks, never to be seen again. Come here and meet me. Then you can fall to your death from the scaffolding if you want. Do not fall. I hate paperwork. If you fall, try not to land on me. Why are you so obsessed with tempting fate, Nancy? Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Okay. Well, this might be the next it spot. If it is, I want to have the first tour up and running. I did it again, didn't I? Did you, did, I got the little growl at the end of it, didn't I? <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm different. She's a crazy little robot to drift in. She's a crazy little rowboat to drift in the far sea of insanity. Was that too? Was that too comical? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still talking. I'm talking, 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 talking. Woohoo! I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm talking. Hello. Hello. Half scientist, half magician, Nikola Tesla's groundbreaking work electrified the modern world. More than 50 years after his death, many researchers would kill to solve the mysteries he left behind. Now it seems someone has. Days before a highly anticipated announcement, one of the world's top scientists was found dead. With the case now cold, it's up to me to bring the murderer to justice without becoming the next victim of the deadly device.